is what we know right now about the tragedy at LaSalle High School. The boy who shot himself used a gun from his home. Police say it was a 45 caliber semi automatic handgun taken from a gun safe. The question now is whose name is on the gun registration? The teenager remains in critical condition at University of Cincinnati Medical Center. The school's website says he's in stable condition, but the hospital tells us that only means his vital signs have not changed. A private prayer service will take place later tonight for the LaSalle community. Also new today, Nine on Your Side obtained a police report of the incident, but we are choosing not to name the boy out of respect for his family. In fact, that boy's parents released this statement a short time ago saying in part, we ask that everyone please respect our privacy during this difficult time. We love our son very much and have always been proud of him. We are grateful for all who continue to keep our son and family in your prayers. Students did return to LaSalle this morning where there was a heightened security and an all-school mask to start the day. Counselors were also on hand to talk to the boys. One of those counselors spoke to Nine on Your Side reporter Tom McKee, who's live outside LaSalle High School. Tom, this had to be difficult even for these professionals. Well, certainly it was, Tanya. Kathy Strunk was among the many professionals who came here today to help the LaSalle community begin the healing process together. But LaSalle is taking a very proactive stance in this area for its 800 students and their families. Classes resumed Tuesday morning at LaSalle High School with a mood described as solemn and hopeful. The thoughts right now are with the family and with the boy. Kathy Strunk, director of the Surviving the Teens program at Cincinnati Children's Hospital, talked to many students who shared a common theme. They're very proud of their school and um, they feel safe here. But school leaders are carefully monitoring all students, especially the 22 that actually witnessed the shooting. But you can imagine that um, they are traumatized. You know, they, uh, and I'm sure there was a lot of fear involved um, and probably worried whether th their own lives were at stake as well. Teachers and staff are on the lookout for depression, which Strunk says is a major risk for suicide. Having low self esteem could be a sign, sleep changes, it could be appetite problems, it could be, you know, having problems uh, at, at school, you know, uh, fatigue, uh, at, um, attention problems. Advice being given to the boys starts with talking to trusted adults. Let someone know what's troubling you. Ask for, accept support, share feelings. And I go over in great detail, especially painful feelings. However, experts like Strunk acknowledge that long term monitoring is needed because problems may not surface right away. Even with post traumatic stress, you may not see results of this till months down the road. Uh, so, right away, everyone's defenses are mobilized and you know, a, a lot of the resilience we see going on, but it could be down the road you want to be concerned about.